Good morning to you from Mission Control Houston. This is Space Station Live for Thursday, June 27th, 2013. This is a live view inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room. Here at the Johnson Space Center, this team today is being led by Flight Director Brian Smith. He is sitting there at the center console. Sitting beside him is the Capcom for today. That is Takuya Onishi. He will be the voice of Mission Control up to the crew of Expedition 36 on board the orbiting complex. Here's a look at the entire crew that's on board. Uh, currently, from left to right, you see Alexander Mazurkin there. Uh, in the middle is Pavel Vinogradov. He is the commander. Sitting in the middle of the screen is Chris Cassidy, NASA astronaut. Beside him is Italian astronaut Luca Parmitano. And then second from the right is Fyodor Yurchikin, as well as Karen Nyberg there on the far right-hand side. The crew has been uh, extremely busy today on board the orbiting complex. Vinogradov has been doing uh, some inspections on the windows of the Poisk uh, and the piers. Uh, docking compartments on board the Russian segment. He has also been working on some uh, experiments back there in the Russian segment as well, taking a look at how the crews adapt to being on board uh, during their five or six months up on board the uh, space station itself. Cassidy and Nyberg are working on transferring cargo out of the European automated transfer vehicle, the Albert Einstein. You see uh, Nyberg there working on some of the cargo bags. The crew is way ahead of the timeline in terms of uh, how long it's taking them to move all this cargo. That ATV brought up about 7.3 tons of supplies here just a few uh, days ago, and it will stay on board for the next several months. It should be departing the International Space Station in October and then being sent into a destructive reentry into the Earth's atmosphere. Cassidy also is deploying some radiation level detectors in the U.S. segment that is part of a Russian experiment that analyzes the radiation levels on board the space station. And he's also working with something called the Compound Specific Analyzer Tool. This is something that basically analyzes and sniffs the atmosphere on board the uh, space station to make sure that nothing is uh, uh, unexpected and that everything is uh, according to plan. Nyberg and Parmitano are working on the ocular health experiment today. This is uh, one of the newer experiments on board that analyzes uh, the eyes of the crew. There's been a phenomenon noticed lately that the eyes tend to change uh, with the crew members on board. So researchers on the ground are taking a look at exactly what causes that and uh, the different astronauts and their different uh, physiologies and how that could be uh, impacted by that. Parmentano also working with Robonaut on board. They are doing some checkout procedures. He unstowed it and powered it up. You see Robonaut uh, moving around there. Robonaut's going to be uh, turning some knobs on one of his task boards as this uh, humanoid robot continues uh, being checked out on board the International Space Station itself. The crew also has several different crew Earth observation opportunities today as they uh, take a look down at the planet below and take some photos and video if they have time. There's several different ones today, including uh, Bagram Airfield in Afghanistan. Uh, they're going to be passing over parts of Croatia as well as Bolivia. And also the lagoons of New Caledonia. This is uh, an interesting part of the world because uh, it is the most diverse concentration of reef uh, structures located throughout the world is actually more diverse than the Great Barrier Reef, which of course everybody knows off the coast of Australia. But in terms of coral and fish diversity, it is actually more diverse than the Great Barrier Reef itself. And of course, we would be, we would be remiss here uh, in Houston if we did not show you the photo that the crew took earlier this week of the great state of Texas. You see the city of Houston, our hometown there at the bottom part of the screen. You can see the Gulf of Mexico, uh, the uh, southeastern cities of Beaumont and uh, parts of Port Arthur. You see the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex up there at the north. There's some clouds and thunderstorms over that part of the area and into Oklahoma. You also see Austin and San Antonio there in the left. And if you look dead center in the screen, that is the city of College Station, Texas, home of Texas A&M University.